Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Hello again viewers, welcome back to Let's Play Torn of the Golden Country. We are... I'm pretty sure getting close-ish to the end, but we do still have quite a bit left we need to do. <clears throat> Before we can continue with the main quest, we have to get community level four. And we do have a few side quests currently in progress. And then there's another side quest we can get started over in Aletta. We still have a little ways to go. But we are making progress. So we have a quest to help build a ship that we're currently focusing on. And once I'm finished with that, well, rather than do more side quests, I'm thinking instead I'm going to try to find the remaining two slate pieces. The slate pieces, there's 16 of them and I found 14 and I know approximately where the remaining two are. I don't know if I actually have access to them, but I'm going to see if I can get them. Because I want to get all the slate pieces to get into that little you know, sealed alcove over in Aletta. I could get most of the way in, but I couldn't get all the way in as it is because I don't have all the pieces. So I'm going to try to get the remaining two pieces to see if I can make it all the rest of the way in. But before I do that, I'm going to try to finish this side quest about building the ship. Hey, you brought the materials. Quick work. Helps a lot. Thanks. So that just leaves the helmsman. Huh? You got me one of those as well? She's waiting in Yanchik Harbor. You should have said so sooner. I could have been halfway there by now. Okay, he want, he's headed off to Yanchik Harbor. Guess we gotta go to Yanchik then. Hmm. Wonder if there's anything else I could do in the area. You know, I don't think there is, really. I found both of the Barney Stones there. I fought a couple of unique monsters. I mean, there are other unique monsters there, but they're a lot scarier, so I think I'd rather avoid them for now. On the other hand, Mithra wants to fight more unique monsters. Even on familiar ground, we must stay vigilant. So I should go find more for her. <clears throat> so did she really show up here? I talked to her over in Gormont. Would you look at that? Thanks to your help, we've got ourselves a ship. Wow, no kidding. She's a beauty. Ha <laughs> ha Of course she is. Made her myself, I did. Though there's still a few bits I'd like to polish up, seeing as how I made her in a bit of a hurry. Well now, she's much grander than I expected. Oh, here's Miss Makila. Allow me to introduce you. This is your new helmswoman, Miss Makila. What? You? Helmswoman? Hey there, sunny boy. Still skinned as a badger, I see. You know each other. Know each other? She used to sponge off my master's charity once upon a time. Since then, we keep meeting. Well, anyhow, she's a great smuggler. She'll get anything anywhere, though obviously for a considerable fee. Mind not painting me like I'm some miserly gold digger, dear? Your master asked me to work with you, so be civil. And so to business. What are we smuggling today? Weapons? Bullion? I've got a policy against carrying monsters, just so you're aware. They just make so much racket. Stop being daft. It's people, okay? The fighting's reached our shores, so I want to be ready to help evacuate the townsfolk when the time comes. Obviously, this one boat isn't enough, but even one's a start. I'll try to make more later as well. Huh. <laughs> so you'll run like a scared rat and leave Torna to sink? 
You don't get it. So long as Tornans survive, wherever they settle again will be home enough. Huh, okay then. So what we're actually smuggling is a nation? Really now, sonny boy? Ah, uh, you know what? I like the cut of your jib. Very good. I'll pitch in with your venture. Right then, let's see what we're working with. I see. So our kin's been building boats to help his countrymen. Don't give me too much credit. I just want to do whatever I can, that's all. The way I see it, there's only so much leaders can do in a crisis. If we wait for them to act, help might come too late. I think you're too humble. Not many people would take it upon themselves to put a plan like this into action. Well, gosh. Thanks. I think the key thing is that you can't wait for a perfect solution, or you might end up waiting forever. I cannot tell if he's a visionary or simply somewhat deluded. I just think if you keep at it, then eventually you'll get there. You just have to believe in yourself. So it's all about self-confidence, huh? All right, we got one more. I won't lie. It feels good. My Titan ship is complete, and it's all thanks to you. Now, if the unthinkable happens, I'll ferry Oresco's people out of Torna into safety. Count on it. I am honored. Well, Sonny Boy sure made something of himself. Building boats to help folks and such reminds me of his old master. Ticks all my boxes, he does. That's an interesting uh, observation. Okay, so we got two more people there. So now we need four. Hmm. Okay, yeah, Hubby takes a hike. We need to figure out where he is. Over in Gormont, I think? I believe she said Cooley Lake. Okay, now I can talk to Arb again, can I? Hmm. I sure seem to be running back and forth there. Oh, check it out, Mick. He really made a brand new boat. Aren't you aren't you glad we came? Hmm. Okay, now I gotta speak with Arb. Alright. Let's just get that finished. Then, Whoosh. even on familiar ground, we must stay vigilant. Then we'll see if we can get those remaining two slate pieces. Oh ho ho ho! It looks like everything worked out quite well. I see. Well, young lady, how about you? Do you know yet what you want to accomplish? No. No, I don't quite yet. But I know I'll be thinking about it. Up until now, I was focused on survival. That didn't leave much time for setting goals and personal objectives. I see. Well, there's no shame in that. Whatever the way, whatever way the world turns, I hope you'll always stay true to yourself. One must be strong yet supple. That phrasing, it could apply to water, no? It bends around obstacles yet does not break. Truly yours is a most interesting mind. I do wish I could, we could make time to talk at our leisure. I... I mustn't. I have my... Don't fidget so, Aegean. You're not a mere instrument for responding to my orders and demands. You can do as you please. Exactly, Aegean. His Majesty can perfectly well make do with just me for a time. Hmm. Sir Aegean, was it? Is it perhaps that you don't believe we could become fast friends? Not at all. Let us retire now, for there's much to speak of, kind sir. Thank all you. Right. Three to go. Never thought I'd make a new friend at my age. I should have had more faith. But first things first, I think I'll go help my oaf apprentice with his boat. Alright. He's gonna go help his apprentice, but he's still standing right there. It has been a learning experience. Tired old man now, but I've been thinking about helping Akeem build new ships. It's not just that he was, used, was my apprentice. 
I feel a duty to use my skills to protect the future of the Tornan people. It's likely that this will be my life's last work, both as a shipwright and as an individual. Perhaps I'm more energetic than is suitable for someone my age. Oh ho ho. Right. Oh, carry on. Oh, there's another side quest down there in the bottom left corner of the city. Well... No. Let's head over to Lofton Nature Preserve. Huh, there's a bunch of field skills around the desert there. Now let's go to Lofton Nature Preserve rather than deal with those field skill checks. There are treasure chests and ether miasmas and things like that. Even on familiar ground, we must stay vigilant. But if I go up here, maybe I will be able to find the remaining slate pieces. Level 40 monsters, huh? A garafa. Hmm. If it was an X, I would have gone for it. This is becoming addictive. <sighs> So this is the way to the end game, if I remember correctly. Is it even possible to go here yet? We made it. Good stuff. Doesn't seem so bad. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, well, that ends that. I can't go in to get the uh, two remaining slate pieces. Let's see if we've got any chats. No, we don't. But we do have some crafting. Let's get down to business. Hollow charm. Plus 20% party gauge gain. Specials recharge 0.5 each second. Hmm. This came out very well. Wait till you see what I can make. Hmm. What you can make, Adam, is nothing. At least for now. <clears throat> Time to get cooking. I'm kind of excited. Ruby Stew Balufo DX. What's the DX supposed to mean? Deluxe? Let's see. Minus two physical damage, plus four affinity gain, minus four affinity loss. It tastes better than it looks. Probably. Barbed tomatoes, right. I don't want to use too many of those. I'm a little nervous, to tell you the truth. Increases running speed. Geometric gears and sun cogs seem to be what I'm missing. disappointing that I can't go in to get those two remaining slate pieces, but yeah, that's how things go sometimes. Even on familiar ground, we must stay vigilant. Okay, now I should be able to open up that uh, ether miasma. The ether bends as I 
will it. Any collection point? Ah. This is becoming addictive. Bar. Help myself to another. We've got this. Out of bond to make my power oh, down. Go. 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 real. I'm all set. Okie dokie. Stay back. Bridget, I'm happiest keeping all my memories here, in my heart. These guys should be no problem. Okay. I stand ready to face all come. I feel unstoppable. Now we're getting into the rhythm. Yeah. <laughs> Why were there such low-level Turkin just kind of hanging around here? That doesn't really make sense. Mm, whatever. Now that's more sensible. Level 40s. These guys should be no problem. I won't enjoy this. Pop the bombs! What are those? <laughs> Checks, that's what those are called. <clears throat> yeah, excuse me. <clears throat> so there's two here. Whoosh. Entirely Even sure. Even on familiar ground, we must stay vigilant. They might be. Oh! I remembered there was one of these that I wasn't able to open before. Jeez, that startled me. I would I remember there was one of these I wasn't able to open before, but I couldn't remember where it was. You're coming with me, witness my irresistible force. Slow and steady. Okay, there we go. There shouldn't be too many of those left. This is becoming addictive. Quests. Uh, rare sense of justice. Four more to go. Huh. I'm not sure where they could be. Hmm. Level forty three. Assuming that guy's unique. Aren't we intrepid? Might be worth taking him on. Okay, where was I 
I think that's... Yeah, that looks like it. The ether bends as I will it. Light has some unexpected uses, too. Okay, collection This is point. becoming addictive. Interceptor Grace. Someone fall down there. Nope, apparently not. Okay, so um, I happen to be looking for a fellow who came to the Turquoise Plateau. So, get those uh, locked chests and find him while I'm at it. to this lock. Slow and steady. What's his name? Aren't we intrepid? That looks like what's his name. Oh, yep, that's what's his name. Hey, isn't that... This is bad news. It's hard to argue with that assessment. 
We can assess later. For now, we have to move. I think we've been spotted. Oh, right. Oh dear. That fish guy has decided to get involved. And Ultimate Aurora again. Someone. Can you stand Your white right is dead. It's ready. Just say the word. Gorgeous. Heal while there's time. Now we feel like we should stay conscious of our energy. Do it. I was trying to switch to. Hey. It's not letting me switch to Hey, darn it. Are Enough. Well, that's irritating. We'll avenge ourselves next time. We can take them on a bit later. Aren't we? Nature makes a fine ally. It wouldn't have been so bad if that fish hadn't joined in. Don't flying fish. Okay, let's see. That's the one, isn't it? Yeah, it flies basically right over the blasted place. That must be Yanchik Harbor way over there. What? Oh. I thought my thumb was on the jump button. Hey, get over here. Alright, follow my lead. Oh god, we're safety in my charge. I'm all set. Okay, good. He avoided me this time. Okay, Ultimate Aurora once again. Right, see? Not so bad without that blasted fish thing in the way. He... he's not breathing. But why? If he's dead, I guess it's all over. At the very least, he did accomplish his goal. We should let Sarah know about this. 
His life was the price he paid to get the proof he needed. Yeah, I guess so. But first we should bury the body. A traveling performer like him deserves a better resting place than this. Ah. Wait, he's still there? <laughs> Okay, so uh, he's not really dead and they've made a mistake. That's the only explanation there. Okay, is that actually a unique monster? I don't think it is. It doesn't have the unique monster symbol over its head. Doesn't seem to be aggressive. I guess we accidentally hit it with some AoE damage, and that's what caused it to join in. This is becoming addictive. Well, there's another treasure chest at the bottom of the waterfall here. This is Hanvi. This is becoming a desert to the sound of my voice. Let's see. Quite a jump, I wonder. Can I make it? Yeah, no problem. The suspense is getting me. Structure to this lock. Slow and steady. Aren't we impressed? Listen to the sound of my voice. Right. side quest in this area. I don't want to get going on that quite yet. Alright, let's um, skip travel back. Let us keep our wits about us. We can't dally all day. That flower, it's Leo found it for you, but it cost him his life. I'm so sorry we weren't able to bring him back with us. I... I can't believe it. I don't know if it'll make it any easier, but he seemed to peace when we found him. At the very least, I don't think he suffered. I always knew there was no helping that guy, but I never did think he'd take it this far. Leo, you damn fool. You called, old bosom buddy mutt? Yeah. See? See? Oh, this is so predictable. Oh, good. We're right on time. I happened to pick him up somewhere. Chatty old fellow, isn't he? Not to be rude, but I was hoping you could take him off my hands now. Oh, man, that was a thrilling ride. I really thought I was dead for sure this time. You... you're... Then who was... Looks like we've been taken for a ride. Word of warning, bud. I don't much like practical jokers, except I do like to punch them when I can. I don't see how this is possible. I'm just as bemused as a lot of you. In all my long years, I've never heard of a human digging their own way out of their own grave. Wise Elder, thank you for the praise, and also for the help. I'm glad you came along when you did. I'm 
Still not sure what happened exactly, but it seems like we're in your debt again, Uncle. Debt? Oh no, think nothing of it. Now then, I think I've done my part, so I shall leave you kids to it. I knew you were an idiot, Leo, but this really takes the cake. Wait, wait, I'm not following. What happened? Did you die or didn't you? Well, what happened was, I heard you calling me, as if from a great distance with this sadness in your voice. Hey, Sarah, deep down inside, wouldn't you rather be happy? Wouldn't you rather smile? I realized when while looking for the flower that the reason I'm so hung up on you is because I want to really know you. All right, I give up. You showed some real courage there, so I guess I can try giving you an inch. You, you mean? I'll have tea with you sometime, sure. Sorry, I may have been too quick to judge you before, so, uh... I'll love you forever, right? That's what you were going to say, right? Are you deaf or just an asshole? Architect, give me strength. All I meant to say was welcome back. Oh, Sarah, my angel! At least everything's finally out in the open now. So you decided to give him a chance? I'm still apprehensive, I won't lie, but I suppose you can't go through life without taking some chances. Thank you for helping me realize that. Oh, I don't like this one. Heh, <laughs> right back at you. You have our gratitude. Thanks for giving me the courage to trust a little more. Whatever else happens, I'll treasure that courage for the rest of my life. Much appreciated. Thanks to you, champions, I will finally be able to do true love justice on my loot. Thank you so much. Ah, love is such a wondrous thing. Thanks. Maybe I could learn something from Leo's single-mindedness. Thanks for helping the poor bastard. I mean, thanks for helping my partner out. Okay, one more to go. Hmm. I have two side quests that have been started that I could definitely finish. And a third that I'm still not quite sure about. But before I do any of those, I'm going to fight another unique monster. Just to get that on the list, as it were. But yeah, this quest is rubbing me the wrong way. How about next time you help yourselves? Because in real life, when a man constantly badgers a woman like that, it's not admirable. <laughs> it doesn't make him a nice guy. It makes him a jerk, and he needs to shut up and leave her alone. No means no. <sighs> okay, Jean gets another recipe. Let's see. So, I was going to actually go back to Gormont. Do want to go there eventually. Where's the other? There it is, hidden hunting camp. There's a unique brog in the pond around here. We have wasted enough time already. We can't dally all day. Five hundred years from now, there's a big ledge up high. But it's not five hundred years from now, so the ledge isn't there yet, it would appear. This is becoming addicted. Okay, there's the brog. Aren't we in Listen to the sound of my voice. We're like 15 levels higher than it, so this should not be a difficult fight. Oh, 
Hand ringing Bigelow. We've got this. Our pawn is my power is boundless. Spinning wheel. Oh, no. Right then. This is becoming addictive. So that's uh, five of the eight unique monsters Mithra wants to slay. This is becoming addictive. Listen to the sound of my voice. And now, let's go over to Cooley Lake and see if we can find that fisherman. And tell him to beat beat back to Oresco. It's a nice change of pace. All right, remind me why we're here again. Let's see, where might he be? Hmm. That's not him. Aren't we in I know the trail. I guess we should just start island hopping until we find him. Aren't we interested? I'm something of an expert. Is it possible to climb this thing? Oh. 
Nope. It wouldn't surprise me if there's a way to Skyrim your way up there, but... Oh, maybe this side. Okay, I can get up here, but uh, it doesn't look like there's any point to it. Camera for a bit. Aren't we in nature makes a fine ally? No there. This is becoming addictive. Listen to the sound of my voice. I know the drill. Mm. So far, no fishermen. Could he be over there, perhaps? Wait a minute, is that him? That looks like him. Well, that looks like a person, at least. Yep, that's him. Oh, a gold oh, machine. Intrepid. Nothing really good from it, though. This is becoming I'm something of an expert. Hey, Harmon. Hey, never expected to meet someone else up here. You here to fish too? Well, it's my first time up here too. Huh? You're not? Chica said I'd gone missing and sent you to look for me. Ha ha ha! Gone missing? That's completely over the top. <clears throat> I've just come up here to try and catch some fish to replace the ones we lost in Torna. What? The fish are back to normal? Ah, Tyler had you sorted out. I see, I see. Wait! Did you say my wife Chica had sent you? Well, wait a minute there. Ugh, my wife, is she in good spirits? S -s -s super angry. An angler worse than the, e the Aegis, an anger worse than the Aegis could ever muster. I better go. Thanks for telling me. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> Thanks again for updating me on the state of the fish and of my marriage. I'll go work on that for now, but we we'll, we should we all should fish at Cooley Lake sometime. Yeah, look at that. Well, I have to go check in with the, the fishmonger lady. And then, you know, I started the side quest for that old woman. I should probably actually finish it. I wish I could finish the one for uh, the Nopon drug barrels, but... Just not sure where the remaining four might be. Return to Oresco main gate to talk about the next move. Hmm. Well, before I do that... Let's go... Up there and check out the uh, Let us keep gather our wits points. about us. We can't dally all day. Aren't we in nature? Makes a fine ally. There's some pretty good things to be found here in town. Aren't we in I'm something of an expert. Hoping 
Perhaps barbed tomatoes this will pop makes a out. Fine ally. Aha. There were some. This is becoming I'm something of an expert. This is becoming addictive. nature makes a fine ally. I'm gonna have to remember barbed tomatoes at that site down there. Okay, so back to Oresco. Go to the inn, not the main gate, because I don't want to trigger the main quest quite yet. Wasted enough time already. We can't dally all day. Okay, Chica. Thanks to you, my husband Harmon is back. I really wanted him to thank you himself. You know, straight from the horse's mouth and all that. But he brought the fish he caught back to me, and before I knew it, he'd sloped off again somewhere. Likely he's found a new fishing spot and couldn't wait to go and try it out. I'll give him such an earful when he gets back. But he's still my husband. And I can't do without him, so you'll have to make do with my thanks. How reliable. My fish brain of a husband is still his old self, but thanks to you, he's at least been trying to help out lately. Maybe I can try to cut him some slack, too. No. Keep on him. Make sure that the lesson is actually stuck. Oh, look, a bunch more side quests have popped up. So I have community level 4. Am I going to need to get community level 5? Well, I'm glad to have been of service. Harmon returned safely to Torna, but has already set out for a new fishing spot. Still, it's clear that the couple have something special between them. Do you folks ever go to meet the families of the people you've helped? I'm sure their families would want to express their thanks to you too. I'm a firm believer in the fact that meeting someone and talking to them helps deepen the bonds between you. It's okay for you to not go visit my husband though. There's no good will come out of deepening your bonds with that blockhead, humph. I'll take your word for that. Right then. It looks as if we're almost ready to proceed with the evacuation. If it wasn't for all your support, we might never have been able to pull this off. I thank you in the name of Torna. I don't know why you're thanking me. I'm a knight now, remember? And you know what else? I'm just really starting to like this place. You get to see so many different walks of life here. It's a real melting pot. I've noticed that. So many intertwining lives all together in one place. I have felt the same about the cities of Moradain. There is much to like about their urban environs. You're wanting to you're making me want to pay a visit now. Then we can all go together. We'll finish off Malice and take Hugo back home personally. Oh, yes, please. We will welcome you with open arms. The streets will be awash with cheer. Uh I'd appreciate it if we could skip any of the formal stuff. Hey, listen. Do you think we'll even stand a chance against Malos? Haven't a clue. His power seems so far off the charts I couldn't even guess. He still has his limits. And besides, Adam's never been able to handle me as effectively as he can now. That's right. Master Adam's more than prepared to take that creep down now. And we'll be right there to watch it happen, won't we, Mick? We've come this far. May as well see it, go see it through. Those lads. You're not serious. Do you know how dangerous it is to be even remotely near Malos? Just by tagging along with us, you're putting your lives on the line. Oh, and I suppose we've been perfectly safe up till now, have we? We know what we're getting into, okay? You don't know what you're talking about. Mithra, drop it. Come on, let's head back to the inn. I want to get a good night's sleep before the decisive battle. Very wise. 
I'll really have to talk this through with Mikhail and Milton. Ah, the first rays of the morning sun. And just like that, all the nightmares wash away. I wonder what's in store for us today. All right, well... So we have to go back to the inn before the next step. It's getting close to the end of the episode, but maybe we can check on this, you know, trail side quest that old lady was on about. Here it is. Let's clean up this mess. What's, what is that? Just bags of stuff. Huh. mess. Clean up the mess. This is becoming I'm something of an expert. Might as well grab this while we're going by. Clean up the mess. Can I talk to you all for a moment? What's on your mind, Jen? Don't you think it's strange? The forest may be close to the road, but even so, there shouldn't be this much trash laying around. Hmm. Maybe some passers-by were attacked by monsters and had to dump their stuff? I don't think that's very likely. The gate guards would have noticed. But why would someone come all the way out here to get rid of this stuff? There may not have been a reason. Come again? What I mean is, I think they simply threw it away for the sake of throwing it away. Sorry, I'm still not getting you here. He's saying that somebody has simply been pulling a prank. A prank? But who'd do something like that? We're going to need more clues if we want to assemble a picture of the perpetrator, it seems. Yeah. What in the... Guys, look! There's more than before. I think it's clear now that someone's doing this intentionally. First of all, let's go and pick up the rest of the litter. Let's get scooping. Okay. How much more of this am I going to have to do? Phew, that should finally be the last of it. Huh? Who's there? Hehehe, he, he. friends did well to sniff us out. Are you the ones who've been littering in the forest? That right. And may Ruru say, very well done. It take person of many wiles to disarm all traps of four muskerpon. But now we sorry to say that you met your match. Ruru, 1000% certain that friends will fail. Four Musker Pawn, never heard of you. Hehehe. <laughs> he. Prick up ears and listen well, friends. We only make time for one in extended introduction. Ruru. Kacha Kacha. Yoko Yoko. Komemi. Though not of same blood, we share same goal. We sink or we swim in same boat as one whole. We brothers in arms, born under same star. To not hear of name is thing quite bizarre. Four Musker Pawn! No Ponic Nine minus five. Yoko Yoko and friends! Meh, that right! You're all saying different things. Meh! We agreed yesterday we'd go with No Ponic Nine minus five. But it flows so badly, cannot just tack on minus five at end. What problem with four Musker Pawn? Meh, meh, meh. Why so many dumb names? It clear Yoku Yoku and friends is superior choice. Excuse me, uh, whatever your name is, can we talk for a second? Mem mm -hmm. Why exactly are you strewing litter around everywhere? Because I think you should know that a sweet old lady asked us to clean it up for her so she could enjoy her walk. 
Could you please just stop this and go somewhere else? Meh, Granny Ofa is upset with us. Granny, you know her. We sorry. We try to behave in future, meh. Oh, right. Well, I'm glad you understand. This was surprisingly easy. As if... You thought we pack up and leave? Think again. Musker Pond to me. We retreat for now, but we be back soon. Big Bro always know what to do. Running away is also kind of victory. Hey! Those little nippers. I think it's safe to let them go. We've already singled them out. We only need we need only identify them one by one, and this matter will be resolved. Looks like they ran toward the capital. Alright, we'll ferret them out one at a time, like Hugo said. We'd better go and tell Ofa about this. Well, that's kind of... ridiculous. Well, then. Uh, we have passed the one hour mark, so I think this is the time to end the video. Viewers, thank you very much for watching Let's Play Torn of the Golden Country. It's been pretty productive. We got a few more quests done, uh, leveled up the community, and can continue on with the main quest, finally. Although I do want to finish this side quest first. I think we've been letting that poor old lady wait for long enough. So, yeah, in the next episode, we'll finish off the side quest and then see where the main quest takes us from there. See you next time.